I'm your social study teacher Rajiv Kumar. Now here we will discuss according to point of view as that written now here. One by one we will discuss. First of all you will see now here in this video we will discuss remaining explanation of lesson number 16. Second point written here. We will discuss exercise and question answer and the last lesson number 17 explanation will start. So one by one we will discuss to now here my dear students see the observe carefully. Previously I had discussed lesson number 16, all of you had done. Now in this page according topic wise previously I had discussed food chain you will read carefully previous topic from book carefully and properly observe learn now in this given picture previously I discussed plant deer tiger a simple food chain in a forest showed here now today we will discuss to here remaining explanation of the lesson 16 now here you will read carefully We will discuss here global environment. The small scale local activities the human being combined to create a adverse impact on the global environment because which is the quality of the natural resources is tickling. If you will see now here lot of effect on our environment such as biodiversity, ecosystems, natural resources and habitats. It case the defor deforestations, biodiversities, losses, global warming, animal extinction and various kind of the pollutions and many more such things so if you will see now here global warming related effect generated you will see now here in given picture impact of global warming the ice in the polar region is melting. The earth is enveloped by the blanket of the gases called the atmosphere. So some of these the gases like a carbon dioxide, methane and water vapors have the property to trap the sun heats these the gases do not allow the heat to the related escape into surf related to the environment this heat keeps the earth warm 
this effect is called greenhouses effect and these gases are called greenhouse gases so my dear student global warming now here if the burning of fossil fuel and other polluted produce large quantity of carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide and more harmful gases harm to us our environment this is called global of warming global warming case climate change on the earth to reduce effect of global warming yes my dear student what the way if you will see in given picture polar region ice is melting now here you will see the results of melting of polar ice rise in the sea level and submerging area nearby the sea so my dear student to reduce to reduce the effect of the global warming we should reduce the release green houses gases into the environments so plantation more and more trees because tree are good absorber of carbon dioxide the main greenhouse gases consumption of fossil fuel should be reduced so my dear student completed the given lesson remaining part we will discuss now here in this video some point written here you will read carefully because is let us revise some important comment or written here you will read carefully and learn now here we will discuss the next portion say here exercise multiple choice question the first question is surrounding in which we live is called environment all living beings are called biotic components the environment which is occupied by living organism is called biosphere carbon dioxide methane and water vapor are called greenhouse gases and fifth questions empty space you will select from the answer answer can complete it destroy the various aspect of environment environmental degradation so yes my dear student environment first answer second answer you will see to now here biotic component third is biosphere next is greenhouses and the last you will see environmental degradation next question we will discuss here two and false see the observe first is it true second is a false third is it true fourth is a false and fifth is it true our environments compare the both living and non living component true the environments remain same 
at the all places false all the green plant are producer is it true the small scale local activities the human being are mind to create positive impact on global environment is false global warming is the great increases the all over temperature of the earth atmosphere is true next my dear student you will complete the question answer in your book as it next question is here fill in the blanks first of all you will see put the numbering is here 23 2 3 5 1 4 2 3 5 1 4 first fill up all the components of environment are interdependent second all non living being are abiotic third is all living being need energy and for the quality of natural resources declining and fifth is warning of fossil fuel case global warming so you will complete as i had written here properly in your book with the help of helping list next question is here correct the match the column column a from b first of all you will put v side b column side numbering 2 4 5 3 1 after comment p column side you will put the numbering and then all living being biotic components different organisms get their food differently all the green plant are producer organ is that decompose of the dead bodies decompose the food chain maintain ecological balance so you will complete as that my dear student in your book b o q s you will read lesson properly and next time we will give the answer related to given topic under the boqs so brain related questions you will read properly the lesson two time next self assessment you will read again this question and reading lesson properly next we will discuss to here remaining part of this video i will start the question answer now lesson number 16 question answer question number 1 is here written see the observe what are the components of the environments define the answer is here written you will see the environment differs from the plant as that the environmental related to so given topic we will discuss to here this question the environment differs from place to place it compares 
to components biotic and abiotics or living beings such as plant animals microorganisms and human beings are biotic components of environments all non living things such as air soil water bodies sunshine temperature etc are the abiotic components of the environments next question you will see to now here how are the living beings interdependent on each other the answer is here different organisms get their food differently depend on the way organism gets their foods or living beings as divided into producer consumer and decomposer as that you will write down the answer how is the global environment affected due to various human activities question number 3 we will discuss to now a small scale the local activities the human beings combine to create a impact on the global environments you will write down as that because of this quality of the natural resources in a clean now as that you will write down the answer in your fair copy question number 4 what are the main resources global warming warming of the fossil fuel cfcs and other the pollutants produce the large quantity of the carbon dioxide so main factor you will write down as that the answer next and the last question what are the steps should be taken to reduce the effect of global warming return the points as that now here see the observed to reduce the effects of the global warming we should reduce the release greenhouses gases in the environments plant more and more trees because the tree are good absorber second is consumption of the fossils fossils fuels should be reduced so my dear student complete the question according to written point as that in your fair copy now in this video the last part we will discuss to here the explanation related to lesson number 17 natural disaster yes if you will see in moment so many problem will be there if you will leave the cases losses of life injury damage type of of natural disaster such as earthquake roar tsunami volcanic eruptions and another related to the risk of natural disaster can be possible if you will live together risky portion risky area so how the risk of natural disaster can be reduced to great by the planning if you will see now here it is the parts in this chapter we will discuss earthquake cyclone floods roar volcanic eruption landslide so first of all we will discuss to now here in given lesson yes my dear student earthquake earthquake is suddenly rumbling shaking it is the case of results of movements earthquake crush some volcanic actions if you will see graphical image are here yes 
seismography. Yes, the hair earthquake measured by an instrument called the seismograph. It was the develop Charlie's F. Lister and the large earthquake has been recorded on the scale 9.25 magnitudes 1960 Alaska. So my dear student now in this video we will discuss on the, this point remaining part we will discuss the next video. Thank you my dear student. See the observe properly and read and carefully written part of the video. Thanks my dear student. Thanks to all.